What's up guys, I uh, just wanted to update you a little bit, uh, so if you don't know, the 2.2.1 firmware was released for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and uh, with every firmware update, we know we have to have a new jailbreak. Uh, so, uh, a Russian developer has updated the Quick Pwn bundles to work with the 2.2.1 firmware. So, uh, now you can jailbreak the 2.2.1 firmware on iPhone, iPod Touch, first generation, and iPhone 3G. That does not include the iPod Touch second generation. Do not try this. Stay subscribed. I will keep you guys up to date. And I will also show you how to unlock the iPhone first generation with this video. And just a little quick note. Uh, if you are on the iPhone 3G and you are unlocked with Yellow Snow, do not update to the 2.2.1 firmware. Uh, that breaks Yellow Snow. It will not work. So do not update your iPhone 3G as of right now because we need to wait on the dev team to update us on that. Uh, before we begin, uh, you are already going to need to be on the 2.2.1 firmware, or you can update to the 2.2.1 firmware. The link to the download it will be in the description. Just make sure you get, use the correct download for your device. So now that all that is settled, uh, you're on the 2.2.1 firmware. Now you're going to need to download the files to start the jailbreak. You're going to need to download the 2.2.1 uh, quickpwn.zip file and the firmware for your device. Uh, both of these downloads will be to the right of the video in the video description. And just to save yourself some time, uh, you probably won't need to re-download the 2.2.1 firmware uh, if you've already updated because iTunes should automatically have it downloaded and saved on your computer anyway. So what you're going to do, just uh, you're going to unzip the QuickPone file, just extract all, and let's go through this really quick. Next, next. Okay, and then hit finish. Alright, now it should open up. Let's open up the quickpwn.exe file. I'm on a crappy computer. I hit run. Okay, now quickpwn open up. Right, go ahead and have your device plugged up. If iTunes opens up, just close it. And let's go ahead and begin. Just hit the uh, blue button to go next. And now where you're going to need to select the firmware. And this is what I was talking about just a minute ago where I said if you've already downloaded iTunes, should already should already recognize it. So let's hit browse and uh, see right here. This is where your firmwares are going to be downloaded. So you should have the uh, firmware downloaded in here. Uh, if you don't know what firmware to select, if you have a multiple firmwares downloaded right here, look in the description and I will have all the information. So if you've saved it to the desktop, you're just going to hit the up arrow and go all the way up. Okay, so I'm going to select my firmware, which is... Uh, 1 comma 1 2.2.1 iPhone uh, so I'm going to select that you select yours and then it should just take just a second okay and then once it reads that we're just going to hit the blue arrow alright now if you would like to unlock your iPhone uh, you're going to download the uh, bootloaders which I will also have a link to in the description if you want to unlock just select the unlock and uh, select the bootloaders after you download them. It's a very simple process. You'll do exactly like I'm doing, except you'll have to select the things. And then you can also select your replace the boot logos as well. I'm going to do that. And make sure Cydia and Installer are selected, and then hit Next. Okay, please ensure your device is connected via USB before continuing. All right, now before you hit the blue Next button, uh, you're going to need to know what to do. Uh, we're going to be get ready and have your uh, have both of your fingers on the home and power button because what we're going to have to do once we hit this button, it's going to reboot our device in recovery mode. We're going to have to hold the home button for five seconds, then go to both buttons, uh, home and power, without releasing the home button, and hold those for ten seconds, then release the power and hold it for about twenty seconds. Uh, and we'll go along with that now. Let's go ahead and hit next. And my uh, USB port is a little bit slow, so it takes a little bit longer for it to do it. Okay, my device is rebooting in recovery. Get ready. You're going to have to hold for five seconds once it pops up there. Okay, here we go. Alright, we're holding the home button for five seconds. Three, two, one. Now we're switching to holding both buttons. Holding both buttons in for eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we release and go to just holding the home button. And you remember, you never release the home button in that process. Now we're going to have to hold it. Uh, for me, it says 25 seconds. Now continue holding this until I say so.
All right, now in the moment when you can release is when you see this picture come up on your uh, iPhone or iPod, and then you see it says uploading RAM disk. And now just let it finish this process. I uh, don't do unplug it or anything like that. I will come back when this is finished. Okay, so this is going to come up the pineapple logo, and it's going to be doing all this stuff. Just let it finish. Don't do anything. Uh, if you did select to unlock your iPhone uh, first generation, uh, once this is done, it's going to do some other stuff and then reboot. Uh, just let it do that. Be patient. It will do it. And then you have an uh, unlocked iPhone. All right, so just rebooted. Uh, let's slide to unlock. And there you go. Installer Insidia. Uh, enjoy. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If this video helped you, uh, remember to rate five stars and uh, favorite. And also subscribe to check out some other videos and keep up to date with all the news on iPhone and iPod Touch. And if you don't know, check out my website, tiesiphonehelp.com. Uh, we post all the news on iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, there's actually 120 people on my website right now. Uh, we got movie downloads page and all that. Uh, check it out. And thanks for watching.